This is the way it's supposed to work. Muslim leaders, police and people from many faiths came together in London's central mosque today. Their aim, to restore confidence among Muslim communities feeling beleaguered after recent terror attacks. I believe that time has also come to express our total intolerance of any form of hate and realise that passive condemnation is simply neither right nor enough. By standing together, let's make a stronger approach and start to become sharper in our anti-hate stance. But what's not working is the current government strategy to prevent radicalisation, so there's a new one coming. The new Home Office strategy to fight extremism leaked to the Telegraph proposes to ban Islamist radicals from working unsupervised with children, an independent review of Sharia courts and councils, to withdraw asylum rights from those legally defined as extremists, and could remove licences from universities who knowingly host extremist speakers. The strategy could be implemented immediately and community leaders are bracing themselves for change. You will know that the government is planning a new strategy, it's been leaked that they're going to do something. Do you have any response to that? I wish the government the best and I'm sure that is if the government, I just have one request that is really to, to, to come back to the communities themselves, to have consultation from them, to have more ideas because the leaders of the communities sometimes see more than, uh, let's say, the, the, the formal authorities in, in, in their offices. For Home Secretary Theresa May, the move comes after a string of controversies. The alleged failures that saw three girls travel to Syria last month to support IS after receiving letters from the police. The case of Jihadi John, under MI5 scrutiny for years before he fled to Syria. And Lee Rigby's killer, who posted his intent on Facebook, which was not picked up. That, plus the so-called Trojan horse conspiracy in Birmingham schools, has spurred the government to act. This move by the Home Office is a signal that the old strategy against radicalisation is not working, but many of the measures proposed target behaviour that is not terrorism and indeed not even illegal. So there's a fine line to be trod. There are 2.7 million Muslims in Britain. The security service has identified just five to 600 potentially violent extremists. Among the rest, how the government plays this will be watched carefully.